With the solar eclipse on the horizon, Sulphur Springs will experience the longest time of totality in East Texas. Because of that, the city is gearing up to be a popular viewing spot for visitors, all there to witness the four minutes and 21 seconds of history. Yeah, we're all looking forward to it. And Fox 51's Nolan Hoffman has more on how they're preparing and what they're expecting. It's the calm before the storm in Sulphur Springs. This is amazing to be able to host something like this. Come Monday at 1.43 p.m., Sulphur Springs will be directly in the path of totality. 40 to 50,000 extra people are expected to come into town to be a part of history. Our hotels have been full, the surrounding areas are full. And that includes Linda and Tom Swoboda, who drove all the way from Chicago to see the eclipse. My brother saw the eclipse, raved about it, took pictures, said it was unbelievable. So I put it on the calendar, I put it on our wall, and I said, I'm going to see this totality or bust. The city says they only expect it to get busier as the weekend goes on into Monday. And law enforcement is all hands on deck to hopefully keep things safe and under control. Our main emphasis is safety for not only our visitors coming in here, but our citizens of Hopkins County. Ensley and others have been working on preparing for the mass influx of people for almost two years. A lot of plans have been built on this. He expects heavy traffic throughout the next few days. The influx is going to come in spurts and we will notice the uptick of traffic. Many extra first responders will be on duty. Law enforcement will even be using air patrol to see which areas need monitoring the most. They go up in the air and they actually kind of, hey, this spot here is a uh, low, moderate or, or heavy on, uh, you know, foot traffic or population or vehicles. And hoping for the best. So even for the amount of people that they're projecting to be here, uh, with the preparations that we made on this, I believe that we're very, we're ready for this. Nolan Huffman, Fox 51 News.